hello everyone today I'm going to show you how to take a backup automatic backup on your web server to the s3 so I'm just logged into my AWS account and the EC2 sections I just go to that EC2 sections then I have a running instance like my web server the test web server so I already installed and configured that server with uh, Apache and MySQL so first of all I'm going to show you how to take a backup so this is my already configured uh, web server so I have to create a S3 first of all I create a user and also I already connected to that my server yeah uh, here is already I have a user I'm going to create a new user like uh, and only give to the access to CLI I choose the attach existing policy so s3 Amazon s3 full access and uh, this CSV you must have to download because the secret key is vital things for the access key and access key ID and secrets so I already downloaded that and now I'm going to that S3 I create a bucket I don't select any one of them I just create a bucket first yeah here it is ready that bucket and the region is US East 2 so now I'm going to my server to connecting to that server to the S3 I have to install the CLI and also the AWS configure command so first of all I'm going to show you my only index.php and that is my default page okay so now I just install that AWS CLI you have to install first then you have to configure the AWS I also mentioned the all command in my video so you can copy so you can see that the AWS access key ID access key ID I already have that one and the secret key secret access key also I have that one remember one thing you should download that the CSV because once 
you go to the other page the secret access key you cannot see and default region so in my s3 i select that is my default region us dash east to maybe you are in the different region creating that bucket so that region is different okay and json now my configuration has created it means that user can connect through that aws server ec2 server to that s3 so now i have to create a cron job i preferred the nano okay first of all uh, seems to the time okay 1926 and also my I have to copy that bucket name paste to here I have to change the time 27 yeah basically the AWS syncing to that S3 the HTML so it can put that bucket also I check that oh sorry it's already over so first of all I have to check no no file so now I have to check once 29 I have to select so I check that one single file I create yeah I think might be heated and yeah you can check that my server have two files and also I just create a file that is test.txt I can download it it's uh, not accessible through that public and also I can download that yeah you can check that
that is also hello so um, it's uh, uh, up to you what time you want to copy or backup that that uh, things that system it's a very simple logic so uh, your all the code also if you can configure the database if you want so that both database and code that copy to that s3 the uh, major thing is that you can versioning with all the settings that means your permission is not everyone it's a specific user so in uh, nobody can see that you can also enabling that versioning so that the second copy it can be used for the further purpose so thank you so much thank you for watching my video so please if you like my video subscribe my channel and follow my channel please comment if you know if you want to know anything about the AWS I can help you about that thank you so much